Hello, I'm Clay Aiken. And I'm Ruben Sturdard. And, and we're, we're Spilling, Spilling the E.T. It's been 20 years since I wiped the floor with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wiped the floor with me. <laughs> so, Clay, what was your honest first impression of me? Oh, that's not hard. I was a little intimidated by you. You just always had this very confident air about you. That a star would guide you my way. We all realized you were gonna last to the end. I'm the American Idol. Really? I am. So what was your first impression of me? <laughs> my honest first impression of you <laughs> was this I'm... guy is a Mac. So I, I meet Clay and he is in the company of several very attractive young ladies. And I mean by several, I mean like 10 or 12. Man, he's the only guy, I mean, he must be, you know, macadocious. And, and I learned very quickly that, no, that's, you know. It's not quite it's not why quite the ladies what, it's were not attractive. Quite what it is, but still, you know. You don't look like a pop star, but you got a great voice. Yeah, weird, it's wild. What's something that happened during Idol that you've never told anyone? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, I came out on Idol to myself. I had never really realized that I was, I was gay until I met someone who worked on the show and who, you know. Kind of told you. Well, in a way or another. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite song that I sing of mine, like my, my song? Flying Without Wings always gets me right here. I think it gets everybody else right here too. It reminds everyone of, you know, how wonderful Idol was. It reminds me of remind losing. You of <laughs> <laughs> Ruben Stubber. Tell me what you were thinking right at the moment that they called my name right before they were walking out and you had said to me, I remember that was, two things happened that moment. One, you looked at me and you said, can you believe, look at the two of us, can you believe the least likely people to be here and here we are, mm -hmm. which have, I mean, now I get chills when I think that. And then right after you said that, I turned to my left and Ryan was going through his cards mm -hmm. and I saw the card that had your name on it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually staring right at you, right, you when I your remember. name was when your name was You're called. You're like, no, you were doing way, more. Way closer <laughs> than like, you hey, wanted. I'm like, hey, bro. I knew what was going to happen and I kind of just wanted to see the look on your face. And actually, I remember you saying, it's you. Before he said, did I? you did. Thank you so much. Which judge do you miss the most? I have to, I probably, Simon is probably the one who I miss the most. What's astonishing is how handsome this show has made you. I mean, seriously. <laughs> We've gotten a chance to see him over the years, but we don't get to hang out with any of them. Um, and as, as mean as he was to me, I do look back at some of the things he said and realize, okay, he made this particular very specific comment. I need to make sure I fix it. Everything about that was horrible. You're horrible. Come on, come on. What I also appreciated about Paula, opposite of Simon, was the way that she cared about how we were after the lights mm -hmm. and camera and all the crowds were gone. Like she would come and make sure we were okay. I think Paula and Simon were sort of mom and dad. Dad was the tough love. Right. Mom was the making sure you feel good. And, and Randy's Randy was your like brother. the uncle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was just go, he was gonna go along with whatever hey, Ben said. Hey, you want something to drink? <laughs> <laughs> you want to come over to your uncle house for a barbecue? <laughs> you good, dog? <laughs> what was the most memorable comment from the judges that you remember? Honestly, my most memorable judge moment was not from Randy, Paula, and Simon. It was from Gladys Knight. Of course, we all remember. And, you know, I would have never called myself a velvet teddy bear of any sort. You are and will probably someday be the world's velvet teddy bear. That was just such a perfect nickname. What don't you miss about being on? Constantly having to worry about getting cut. <laughs> I remember calling my mom. She had my brother who was still in school, mm -hmm. and she had she didn't come out until the top six. Mm -hmm. She never came, and I would call her every week and say, "Mom, you've got to come out. I'm gonna get cut, and you're not gonna be able to be here." Oh, you're fine. And she was like, "Oh, it's fine. I'm thinking I'm gonna come out week six. <laughs> I think I'll." Just, I'm like, "Mom, that's five weeks away. I'm gonna get cut." <laughs>
Which of the newer judges on Idol do you wish were on our season? I'm a Katy Perry fan. Okay. And you she's know, funny. She's she, funny. I am glad we had the judges we did. I'm, I'm glad I'm they not, were tougher on us. Yeah. I think that Simon dictated the energy in the room. I think if Simon was there, Lionel would probably be a little bit more tougher. Would you ever be a judge on American Idol? I used to say I always wanted to be a judge. Absolutely. I think, that, I don't know, now I feel like I'd be maybe more Simon-ish than, than, than they, they have right now. Mm -hmm. It actually surprises me that American Idol doesn't make you and I permanent, like, We would be very idol wise. Mentors. Mentors. We'd be I mean, very wise. Absolutely. I, so I much think, wisdom from 20 I think years. It would, I think it would do them well. Especially when people come up and say, well, what advice do you have to Rion Idol? Don't try to be somebody other than who you are. Mm -hmm. Don't try to create this to, to hit a high note that you are just trying to do hit for right. the purposes of impressing someone. Be you. Ruben, would you vote for me if I ran for office again? I would absolutely vote for you if you ran for office again because I know you actually care about the things that you are campaigning about. I had some folks who were supportive and, you know, sent, donated or whatnot, mm -hmm. but nobody other than you showed up twice. Reuben came and helped both times, and you know how much, if my, if my antidepressants weren't working so hard right now, I'd probably be crying. <laughs> <laughs> Clay and Reuben's friendship is 20 years strong. That's why the two are together again for the appropriately named 20 The Tour, now through May 16th. <laughs> Reuben, this is a very important question. Go ahead, sir. How excited are you to reunite with me for this tour? <sighs> the excitement can't be <laughs> put can't into be words. Put into words. <laughs> I mean, I am. Stevie Wonder says overjoyed. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I really am, though. I'm excited about um, the opportunity to, to get the chance to be back on the road with you. You're my brother. I wouldn't want to be on tour with anybody else other than probably maybe Janet Jackson. I would feel a little cheated on if you went uh, out with Janet Jackson. Uh, you, you I'll be shouldn't. honest. You shouldn't. It's Janet. I <laughs> okay. mean. How's rehearsal been going? Wonderfully. You've almost taught me how to dance. Maybe by the end of the tour, you will have taught me how to dance. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get you there. I promise. <laughs> I, I, I think that if I have, we have one more rehearsal, one more, I think you'll have it. Okay, how's it been getting ready for the show and and teaching, being in between teaching, you're teaching at the University of mm -hmm. Tennessee in Chattanooga. If you had to choose one or the other, which would it be, teaching or performing? Okay. I love teaching. I really do. I enjoy the students. I enjoy, um, it's something to be said about being around younger versions of yourself. And even when the students are older than I am, because I do have a couple of older students that are in my class. Those are the only ones who know who you are, right? They do. <laughs> <laughs> they actually care, <laughs> care about what I've actually accomplished aside. Like the rest of them are like, man, when is my paper due? I don't, <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I could care less who you were before you showed up in this room. <laughs> Just give me an A. <laughs> who would you say is the bigger diva, you or me? I would absolutely say that you are the bigger diva. There are several different kinds of divas. I think that when it comes to certain aspects of the production, you are a diva. When it comes to certain things that are required in a dressing room, then it's me. Well, I learned a lot about you, Ruby. And I learned a lot about you too, Clay. And you're this a is, fascinating person. You are even more fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Clay Aiken. And I'm Ruben Studdard. And that's the tea. On ET.